it was some study of a 60, 50 years old female with a history of a lump in the left uh, hypochondrium. This is the supreme Myers 14.4 up to 12 is normal from pole to pole and this is mildly enlarged supreme and with the supreme as I move the probe upwards towards the in the intercostal space towards the axilla, we see a mass, cystic mass. I will say a bit cystic because you will see increase through transmission. And in this mass, you will see multiple, now here, <coughs> these are multiple cystic areas within this uh, uh, mass. And, and the mass may is approximately uh, 8 into 8 centimeters with uh, the, the outer surface of this uh, mass is uh, <coughs> showing a, uh, calcification which are broken. So broken calcification around its wall is clearly seen. Here we are. This is the mass. And you see this uh, critical shadow, critical angle shadow. This is from this calcified outer wall of this uh, mass under study. We do see uh, posterior wall enhancement. Now it abutes uh, at the, uh, here you see this is the calcified outer rim of this uh, mass under study. This is the supreme, this is the diaphragm, the hyalur region, and uh, it's pushing the supreme uh, upwards. And the hyalur region is also displaced. As you see, this is the hyalur region. This is the hyalur region, these vessels and it's giving some mass effect on that. Okay. Lambasado. Now, see now there is, let us see if there is any vascularity seen. No vascularity is seen within this mass. And you see the posterior wall enhancement. This is the posterior wall enhancement through this, because of these cystic areas, multiple cystic areas within this uh, uh, mass and the study. This also contains uh, a few tiny septas as well as very minute and tiny calcifications as you will see here. Tiny calcifications are seen. So this is uh, now the most important thing is to see its relation with the kidney. So as I move towards the region of the left, uh, left lumbar region, you see this is the left kidney and beta lumbar sala This is the upper pole. This is the upper pole of the left kidney. Sorry, this is the upper pole of the left kidney, and this is the mass. So we do not see its relation with the kidney. Kidney is in its uh, normal position. It's not relating to the kidney. The other way to rule out, see there, it's any relation with the kidney is that I am going to show you. But I the kidney. The kidney in transfer section, 
again you will see that patient supply. Now this is the task to complete transfer section of the left kidney and I am giving a sweep anterior posteriorly to see that if it relates in any way to the left kidney. This is uh, the hilar region clearly seen, the kidney is clearly seen, so the mass does not relate to the kidney. One thing is for sure. Otherwise, it would have been difficult to relate it. So this mass is in fact relating to the... Uh, okay, now another important thing is to see the ileus source muscle. Here you see this is... Now this area is where the source muscle is. This is the source muscle on which the uh, kidney glides. Uh, this is the kidney and mass is much above that. Spleen, the mass. It's, uh, now the, config, the appearance of the mass is very much consistent with either uh, an abscess in this region or a hyoid cyst now you can yourself see the degree of uh, calcification and uh, uh, first thing is that it's rounded, second it has broken ecogenic rim around it, third strong back wall, four internal cyst with tiny calcifications, these are the tiny calcifications, cysts are numerous, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. So, so many cysts are there within it. Multicystic mass. So.